so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so we are going to continue our discussion for binary tree right so let us discuss uh, let us further discuss the discussion of traverses right so up till now we have discussed about pre in and post order traversal and believe me these are the most important traversals for the binary tree if you are able to understand these traversals you are able to solve 99 percent of problems in the binary tree okay moving on one other important traversal is level order traversal what is it level order traversal what does the problem say the problem says that you have been given a tree for example this tree right for example this tree now i can make horizontal levels that means i can sketch a line something like this one two three four and five correct now these are my horizontal levels that means this level this is my level one this is my level two this is my level three this is my level 4 and this is my level 5 right and now it the question requires me to give me the level order travel so that is I want each level in a different diary right so the question requires me to print something like this in the first line print the level 1 that is it will print 1 in the second line it will print 2 and 3 that is 2 3 in the third line it want me to print 4 5 and 6 4 5 6 in the next line 7 9 10 7 9 and 10 in the last line 8 now this is my friends is what you call a level order traversal a level order traversal and believe me this is a really important traversal technique of binary trees right okay now how will you solve it how will you give me this output from this tree how will you give me this output from this tree of course you have been given root as your input and you i want the whole level of traversal how will you do it how will you do it so if i try to do it by recursion i don't think that is possible right because if i try to call for one if i try to call for one and then one will call for two one will call for two and then two will call for four right so if i try to print one i printed one i went to two i printed two but instead of three it is printing four now it is printing four so recursion call is not an answer to it recursion is not an answer to it right so i will rule out recursion and because recursion is not an answer so most probably stack is also not a probable data structure that i will go through that i will go through so what should i do now what should i do now so if i try to imagine this that this is my tree right they give me the root okay first of all let us print the root first of all let us print the root so i printed one right now it is evident it is evident that root is on like in the first level only root can be present right no in the first level that is this level only one element can be present and that is my root nothing uh, else than that can present right only one node is present moving on in the second node at max two elements are present at max two elements are present what are these roots left and roots right right so i will be doing something like this i have got one and then i will be printing roots left and roots right of course if they exist of course if they exist now if i try to extend it down what is coming in order it will be roots left of left r l l now after that roots right of left then roots right of right that is it is following the order that for a given element print it that is uh, for a node for a node print it in the next level in the next level it the node will contribute the node will contribute its left child its left child and right child in the same order in and right child in the same order what do i mean by same order that is left first then right right in the same order now in the same order is very important to us in the same order is very important to us right so for the given tree for the given tree let us take a data structure let us name it as one right i i assumed a data structure let us name it as one right i pushed my queue into it i am not naming this data structure right let us name it a data structure only and you will tell me what is this data structure implying for the data structure i put one into it right i popped out one i popped out one and then i write out one as my answer right this is my answer okay now for this one i want to put its two and then three so let us put it so two three now 
it is evident that two three i want to pop out the two element first right because i want to print two first so i popped it out so two comes out two is written here and now for two for two it will be requiring four that two will be contributing four okay so i put four here i put four here right two doesn't have a right so i will not put anything here now i pop out three i pop out three i write down the three three will contribute five and six three will contribute five and six written okay then for four i popped out four i popped out four and i, I wrote seven right i wrote seven if after four i will write push seven into the, the data structure right now i will pop out five i will write five here and i will go for nine i will push nine into it right then i popped out six i will be writing ten right and then after ten i will be uh, after 10, I will be going towards the 7th node, 7 will be pushing 8 into, oh, 7 will be pushing 8 into a sector sector, right? So, what I am actually doing is, I am push popping out, popping out the first element inserted, popping out the first element inserted, right? What does this mean? What does this, what does this data structure actually implement? So, this data structure is actually equals to a Q. Why? FIFO. Whenever FIFO is applied, Q means, it means Q, that is first in, first out. So, for a given tree, right, suppose my tree is given to me as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the complex tree, right? Now, I want a level or traversal of this. What will I do? I will make a Q first. My algorithm says make a Q okay making a queue no problem made a queue push the root into it so my queue contains my root right now okay now what will happen what will happen while my queue is empty while my queue is not empty what will happen i will pop out the node i will pop out the node now you can see that the current level the, i am i am doing it for level one right now right now the size of level one that is one is equal to size of queue size of level one size of level is equal to size of Q, equals to size of Q. That is element inserted into the Q, right? Okay, so pop out one, write one. That is my answer will write one into it. And after I pop it out, pop it out, I will write the left and right. That is, I will write two here and three here, right? Now, you can see my level one has finished because I have popped out every element that was in the size one. Now, for this level two, my level two begins and for level two, my current Q size is two my q size is two you can see two elements here my q size is also two okay now for the i will do it two times i will pop the elements out for two times right now first time i popped it out i return it down right for two four and five will be contributed for two four will be contributed five will be contributed then say in the second attempt that is three i will pop out three and i will write three and i will write three in the same level you can see in the same level right and for three i will write six seven into the q i will write 6 and 7 for the Q, right? So you can see level 2 is done and I have also done it only 2 times. So level 1 is done, level 2 is done. Moving to level 3, moving to level 3. I will pop out 4 now. For uh, level 3, how many elements are there? 4 elements are in the Q and you can see for level 3, 4 elements are there. Okay. For level 3, I will pop out 4 first, write down 4. I will write down 4 and for 4, there is no left or no right. So I will not push anything into the Q. So then I will pop out 5, I will write 5. Then I will pop out 6, I will write 6, but for 6, 8 is there. So, I will be pushing 8 into the queue, right? And the last iteration that is 7, I will be popping out 7, writing 7, and for 7, 9 is its child. So, 9 I will write, okay. Now, this was my level 3. You can see level 3 is actually matching. Level 1 is here, level 2 is here, level 3 is here. For level 4, 2 elements are there in the level 4 as you can see, and 2 elements are there in the queue, okay. So, pop out, out, pop it out. 8 popped, and then afterwards, 9 popped. After 8 popping, no element will be added, but after 9 popping, 10 and 11 will be added because it is their child's. Okay. In the level 5, there are 2 elements. In the queue also, there are 2 elements. So, write down 10 after popping, write down 11 after popping, right? And you can see this is my level or traverse that I wanted and that is what I am getting. So, what will I do? My pseudocode looks something like this. I will make a queue first, right? Let us name it as tree node star queue. Then, if my root is not null, then q dot push. What do I push? My root. Now, what will happen? While 
my queue is not empty that is level order traversal have not yet finished then node equals to q dot perp that is q dot front actually q dot front and then you can actually perp q dot perp that is the node has been explored print the node value first oh first sorry 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 my mistake first you will get the size first you will get the size why size because i want to print a certain level in a certain line so my n is equals to q dot size because q dot size determines what are the num current number of elements after that for i equals to 0 to n that is n number of times what will you do you will say node equals to q dot per you have the element in, within you with, with you and now what will you do you will print the value print node value right in the current level only and now if my node left is not null then push it then q dot push node left and then if my node right is also not null if my node right then q dot push node right q dot push node right right and after this my loop will finish after this finishing of the loop i will go to the another level because this n this q dot size was for one level so c out and l for the next level right and this will print my whole level order traversal this will print my whole level order traversal so i hope this was clear to you what is the time complexity here so we are only exploring each data structure, each node once so it is o of number of nodes right o of number of nodes and o of uh, maximum level size maximum level size is my uh, what is my it is my space complexity right because at, a, at any moment i am storing only maximum level size you can also determine it as o of n only right okay now let us move to the code hope you were clear with it so if you are clear with it do drop a like and please 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 subscribe to my channel if you are new here let us move to the code now so here we are guys but before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel number one Secondly, please follow me on my Instagram, number two. And number three, please connect with me on my LinkedIn for regular updates about the new videos or the new playlist that will I will be bringing. In some short interval of time, I am tr uh, trying to bring out a complete course of modern stack which is not yet uploaded on the YouTube. Believe me, I will teach you in a way that you will understand all the concepts easily, okay? Now, moving on. Vector of vector int answer to store the answers, right? Now, Q of tree node star type right it is a star here name it as q right now moving on what i will do if my root is not null if my root is not null if my root is not null in that case q dot push what do i push into it i will push my root i will push my root and now while my q is not empty what will i do i will first say in 10 is equals to q dot size all right now i will create a vector to store it to the level so vector int level let us name right now for int i going from 0 up till n that is n number of time i will pop the node out so tree node star node let us say is equals to q dot front and then you can q dot pop now simply push the value so level dot push back nodes value and if my nodes left is not null then q dot push my node left and similarly if my nodes right is not null then q dot push my nodes right my nodes right right and now i can just after this i can just say answer dot push back the current level right and after this loop i can simply return my answer and that will be all let us try to compile and run it it shouldn't find i guess should not give any error it is running fine let us try it for summit as well hope you are stay, staying tuned up till now and it is running okay getting accepted a pretty high rate right 82.0.4 percent of users have been beat up by this obviously i don't believe in it because it is sometimes fake so okay no no worries okay so let us end the video here but just a heads up in the upcoming videos that is in the le next lecture lecture number five i guess in the lecture number six sorry in the lecture number six I will be bringing out many questions for you that is zigzag traversal and uh, followed by le left view and the top view and the boundary etc etc so please stay tuned okay so we will meet again tomorrow till then stay tuned 
and if you have not subscribed till now please do subscribe thank you have a nice day